नमस्कार चंदा प्रोडक्शन द्वारा निर्मित कार्यक्रम सहयात्रा को नया श्रृंखला में हार्दिक स्वागत दर्शकबिंद यह सामग्री में हर हई त नमस्कार म निर्मल शर्मा दर्शकबिंद आज को सहयात्रा संवाद में हमी एक फरक सन्दर्भ में रही कुरा नेपाल में विदेशी लगानी भिताने सरकार को पच्लो नीति अनुसार लगानी मैत्री वातावरण सृजना का अनेकों प्रयास भैर यही प्रयास अनुसार छिमेकी राष्ट्र चीन को दक्षिण प्रांत युनान प्रदेश सरकार ने आपको संपर्क कार्यालय समेत स्थापना कर सकता आपको संपर्क कार्यालय स्थापना कर सके उसके विविध कार्यक्रम करते आई आज हमी राजधानी में आयोजन होना लगी हरित कृषि उत्पादन प्रवर्तन संबंधी प्रदर्शनी रुनान को परिचयात्मक सन्दर्भ में रही नेपाल स्थित युनान कमर्स ओवरसिज रिप्रेजेन्टेटिव अफिश का निर्देशक ओ लिंगचेंग अब को क्रम में फर्स्ट अफ अल एबाउट आवर एक्जिबिशन इंट्रोड्यूस जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस मै फर्स्ट टाइम फ्रम युनान प्रोविंस एट दुनान कमर्शियल रिप्रेजेन्टेटिव अफिस इन दि पोल एंड मै नेम इज उन एंड आई मेट डायरेक्टर अफ दिस अफिस And ab- about today's uh, program, we are trying to um, show what Yunnan products and what are the Yunnan products and what we can um, do with um, Nepal companies. So we brought a list of Yunnan companies, and hopefully we can have a little bit of uh, collaboration later. Uh, what is the Yunnan Green Agriculture Product Promotion? Uh, Please introduce. Um, you know, actually, under the uh, Belt and Road Initiative of the Chinese, and you know, proposed three sub initiatives of green food, green energy, and healthy living destination. And uh, so, we are going to not only import export the products, we are also spreading the idea to the neighboring countries. Uh, when did you establish uh, uh, Yunnan Provincial Office in Nepal? Uh, we are established in 2015 and based in Sanibar Chok, Patan. Uh, uh, how did uh, its uh, running function as yes, uh, uh, both Nepal and uh, Chinese people uh, this pull uh, as uh, Nepali market? Um, actually, the purpose of the, our representative office is mostly leading Yunnan enterprises to enter Nepal market, as well as well as uh, introducing Yunnan market to Nepal uh, companies. And we are bearing a motto and working directions of uh, publicize, uh, coordinate, um, serve, and protect enterprises. Till now, how many progress uh, between coordination and uh, its office uh, function? Um, actually, Yunnan and Nepal has a lot of relations. Mm, like in every June of mm, the year, Yunnan is holding China uh, South Asia Expo, and we in, uh, we introduced a lot of um, Nepal retailers. To participate, and I believe most of them have successfully um, joined in the uh, in the market, mm-hmm. and maybe further to China market, the whole China market. What is the main uh, purpose of uh, this exhibition? And like I said, uh, we promote our uh, products. This is the one thing um, from Yunnan province, and we are also bring the list of Ch- uh, Yunnan companies who would like to share their processing um, technologies and maybe have their joint venture uh, plants in Nepal. So we trying to get more relations between Yunnan companies to Nepal companies. And uh, what is the strategy of uh, green energy, green food, uh, green living destination of Yunnan 
provincial office? Uh, like I said, we are trying to import, export organic food from all over the world, and also Yunnan is uh, a huge producer of the organic food, which we, we are trying to export to the neighboring countries, but mostly for Asian countries. And recently, um, we are trying to not just export and import, we are, we are trying to spread the idea to the neighboring countries because um, a lot of our neighboring countries is in high development speed. Um, we are trying to introduce them uh, with the high, re uh, high speed of the development. We can bring organic food to local people mm -hmm. and we can provide them green energy and then finally we build a healthy, des a healthy living destination for them. How is your uh, relevant situation uh, in uh, uh, this program promotion? Today we have uh, an invited a lot of um, important guests uh, like the commercial councillors from the Embassy of China and like the former ambassador from Nepal to China. And we would like to gather their ideas of how we can better improve the relationships between Yunnan and Nepal and how we can do the um, a trading business better. I mean uh, this all material uh, including with uh, product display, interaction with the uh, host and trying some product maybe uh, promotion skill. Uh, is it uh, right? Yeah, uh, I don't want to actually. Standard of uh, promotion skill. Uh, it may be uh, uh, hosting, uh, documentation, a meeting, and other uh, that is uh, like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Today we, we just have a, a, prom, a, prom, uh, a show exhi exhibition of, the, of some of the products, and more importantly, we brought the list of. Mm, Inland companies showing what they can do and what are their basic business and how they can interact with Nepal companies. Uh, what kind of trade uh, Inland bring to Nepal? Uh, today's program actually is not very big, but we invited uh, some important guests like the commercial councillor of China Embassy and also former ambassador of Nepal to China who can share their ideas of how, um, ch how to, we can perform better during the uh, Chinese Nepal um, trading business and we also um, bring some organic food to display and for some of them maybe you can, you can taste and more importantly we brought uh, the list of Yunnan companies who wants to do business in Nepal, and they can. We have a, a, a lot of advanced technology, processing technology, of uh, with the green food, with the vegetables, fruits like that. And uh, I think for after this program, if we can find some Nepalese to Nepalese companies to collaborate, it will be have a better. If it will be have a better performance for our office as well. And uh, what kind of uh, trend, uh, trade can uh, Yunnan bring to Nepal? Uh, Yunnan actually is a very uh, huge uh, agricultural uh, province in China. Uh, we produce vegetables, um, fruits, and f most importantly, flowers, tobaccos. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Last year, Yunnan provided 50% of the total flowers to the whole China market mm -hmm. and we exported flowers to Singapore, Korea, Japan, Hong Kong and so on and so forth. So, um, a lot of uh, products that, that Yunnan have can be exported to uh, Nepal, but at the same time uh, due to Nepal ha have the same climate um, with Yunnan and also geologically and um, same same environment, so maybe Nepal can do the uh, agriculture better than Yunnan. So we bring the idea to here uh, and uh, introduce overall scenario of agriculture of uh, Yunnan. 
Uh, Yunnan is a very huge agriculture um, province in the whole China market. Um, Yunnan is fond of uh, growing coffee and uh, it occupies the majority of the market in, Yunnan, uh, in the whole China market. And the uh, coffee, uh, we, uh, we brought the large scale cultivation in 1988, so it's like uh, 30 years now. So that technology is actually very uh, mature. In recent years, we uh, brought the um, vegetables and fruits mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the sector, uh, which also provides a huge amount to the neighboring countries mm -hmm. uh, and mostly, most importantly, export to Japan and export to uh, Singapore. Um, and China now have uh, eight, uh, 900, over 900 of um, uh, edible mushroom species mm -hmm. and Yunnan occupies 800 of them and I believe last year's um, statistics mm -hmm. um, 8,000 tons of the mushrooms that was exported majorly to Japan and it, it creates um, 18 million US dollars mm -hmm. income um, another major part of Yunnan agriculture is uh, flower. Mm -hmm. It's also a large-scale cultivation. <clears throat> In the flower products occupies 50% um, market of uh, the whole China market, mm -hmm. and, and also export some of them. And uh, there are some processing plants making oils, making. Um, we, uh, we actually you, you now we have a little cake made of flowers. It's very tasty, very good. So the flower flower agriculture um, is a major part of Yunnan as well. And other uh, annual crops, maize, wheat, and uh, rice. And these all are the possible possibility uh, growing in their people uh, profession. Yes, also, also uh, we have these in Yunnan, but uh, not in large scale, we just meet our demands. Mm -hmm. And for, for rice, which uh, Chinese consuming the most, uh, we um, import from Thailand mostly, and we uh, buy it from north parts of China, which the um, rice is like in a better taste uh, for our forts. And how possible uh, tourism sector? and tourism uh, development uh, between Nepal and Union government? Uh, Yunnan is a, a large tourism destination as well uh, for Chinese tourists, for um, foreign tourists. Um, there's a, a lot of attractions in Yunnan, but um, I think for Nepal, the Himalaya mountain is already the the biggest and and the very uh, significant <coughs> advertising for Nepal. So with the with the with the view, I think for myself, I'm already have enough reason to come to visit Nepal. But uh, there are two major problems of uh, tourism in uh, Nepal. I think. Uh, the one is the sanitary conditions, because most of tourists uh, we would hi would much pretty much have a better place to live, to eat, and to travel. Um, another thing is the most important thing: the easy transportation. Mm -hmm. For Nepal, I think transportation is the major, uh, f like 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 cutting throat of. Um, uh, the tourism because the capacity of the international airports, domestic mm -hmm. airports, is pretty low. So uh, China Southern Airlines. Yes, yeah. China Southern Airlines, China Eastern, a lot of them. But um, yeah, I'm talking about the uh, people flow is pretty low, mm -hmm. so there are not so many tourists in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So. Yunnan actually um, have a lot of companies doing uh, tourism investments. Uh, they can bring the adver advertising technology, like they can do 
uh, we can show the place better mm -hmm. for some reason. I don't know how, because it's not my expertise. Um, and also, we we are we know how to produce the place, and we knew, we know how to process the place to a better destination for tourism. Like in Yunnan province, uh, there was a little point, point, point mm. from a very old, um, uh, from very old uh, Chinese dynasties, uh, and they used that and find the find the situation mm -hmm. in the poetry, and find it find the place in Yunnan, and afterwards the the guests the in, uh, tourists is boosting in in that place. Uh, how feel you your uh, experience uh, Nepalese uh, and uh, Chinese people uh, similarities in this uh, coordination work of coordination and uh, uh, exchange uh, tourism? I think for Nepal, the Himalaya mountain is already the the biggest and and the very uh, significant uh, advertising for Nepal. Uh, Nepal, I think uh, the one is the sanitary conditions because most of tourists uh, we would would much pretty much have a better place to live, to eat, and to travel. Um, another thing is the most important thing: the easy transportation. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we are uh, yet at the conclusion stage. Tell me about your uh, some other additional uh, statement or <laughs> your tell us about uh, your statement. A statement. Um, <clears throat> because the Yunnan government actually give us our representative uh, uh, office a lot of pressure to promote mm -hmm. better relations between Yunnan and Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a little. Uh, a lot of directions. Now we are promoting um, business uh, uh, sectors today with the with the events. Hopefully we can have the collaboration uh, later. And another direction is to bring G2G collaborations. Uh, we are trying to communicate with province six, uh, province uh, Kanali, mm -hmm. and if we can do. And then, like uh, sister provinces uh, with Karnali, because Karnali, uh, when we visit there, mm -hmm. it was a very nice place mm -hmm. and mm, very great view of the mountains. Yeah, yeah. And the same in same tour, same problem with the tourism, agriculture, and which pro which you know probably can aid. So uh, I think both directions can be done. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. दर्शक ब्रिंग अब भने आर्थिक र सामाजिक गतिविधि को पालो यूनान का उत्पादनहरू को प्रदर्शनी बैठक यूनान स्पेसिलिटीज एक्जिबिशन प्रोमोशन मीटिंग एजेंडा कार्यक्रम सम्पन्न भएको छ आइतबार होटल याक एन्डियति दरबार मार्गमा चीन को यूनान प्रान्तमा उत्पादित अर्गानिक खाद्य वस्तुहरू को प्रवर्धनका लागि प्रदर्शनी कार्यक्रम गरिएको थियो प्रदर्शनी कार्यक्रममा यूनानी कम्पनीहरूले उत्पादन गरेका अर्गानिक खाद्य वस्तुहरूका केही नमूना प्रदर्शन गरिएको थियो त्यसमा चकलेट रोज प्रोडक्ट साल्ट बाथ प्रोडक्ट सानी क्यु र ग्रास्टोडिया रोज टी र सुगर बाक वाइट टी प्योर टी कफी वाइल्ड मशरूम प्रोडक्ट आइस फ्रूट ड्राई लगायतका अर्गानिक खाद्य वस्तुहरू राखिएको थियो
कार्यक्रममा सरकारी एजेन्सी एनजीओस नेपालका व्यवसायिक कम्पनीहरू चाइनीज कम्पनीहरू सञ्चार क्षेत्रका व्यक्तिहरू लगायतको भव्य उपस्थिति थियो कार्यक्रममा युवान कमर्सियल रिप्रेजेन्टेटिव अफिस इन काठमाडौँका उपनिर्देशक उ लिङचिङले युनानको उत्पादित अर्गानिक खाद्य वस्तु नेपालमा यसको शाखा विस्तार प्रदर्शनी कार्यक्रम लगायतका सम्बन्धित सम्पूर्ण विषयको अवगत गराएका थिए विगत चार वर्षदेखि उक्त युनान कम्पनीका शाखाहरू नेपाल भारत श्रीलङ्का बङ्गलादेश लगायतका देशहरूमा विस्तार भइरहेको लिङचिङले जानकारी गराए नेपाल र चीनको भौगोलिक अवस्था प्राकृतिक स्रोतहरू मौसमी अवस्था कृषिजन्य उत्पादन लगायत धेरै कुरा मिल्ने हुँदा युनानको उक्त कम्पनीको लागि नेपाल पनि एक विशेष ठाउँ भएको कार्यक्रममा बताइएको छ युनान सरकारले पनि अर्गानिक खाना वातावरणमैत्री ऊर्जा र स्वस्थ तथा दीर्घ जीवनमा जोड दिएको कुरालाई पनि कार्यक्रममा लिङचिङले प्रस्तुत गरेका छन् त्यसैगरी कार्यक्रममा एमबीसी अफ द पीपुल्स रिपब्लिक अफ चाइना इन नेपालका इकोनोमिक एन्ड कमर्सियल काउन्सलर जांग फ्यान त्यसैगरी नेपाल कम्युनिस्ट पार्टीका केन्द्रीय समितिका सदस्य टंक प्रसाद कार्की नेपाल चाइना एक्जिबिसन काउन्सिलका चेयरमेन अनुप राजन भट्ट राई त्यसैगरी ट्रेड फेयर कमिटी एफएनसीसीआईका चेयरमेन दिल सुन्दर श्रेष्ठले आफ्नो मन्तव्य राखेका थिए युनानको यस किसिमको उत्पादन र नेपालसँगको सहकार्यले नेपाल र चीन बीचको सम्बन्ध प्रगाढ बन्दै जाने कुरामा अधिकांश वक्ताहरूले जोड दिएका थिए either from china especially from the tibet and from india has to go through the pole darshak bind e samagri sangai aaja ko sahayatra ko samaya sakiyeko cha arko hafta esai samayama bhetne bacha sahit aaja lai chutinchau namaskar